what needs to happen in that sense is knowing how to maintain your mental health and knowing the, the right strategies that can help you get to back get back to like a stable state. Um, yeah. I, I think I'm talking about certain I agree one point. I agree one point. And then you jump. I feel like I did. I agree with your point completely because there's only a certain degree of what you can control. But it is like what I think you said where you kind of safeguard and create an environment where you know, cool, I'm having a good day, so I'm going to do these things to kind of combat that. Because even me coming today, I was a bit nervous about coming here and driving all the way here. I was like, okay, I'm a bit anxious. Like, I don't really know if this is going to be for me. But I have to kind of coerce myself and be like, you know what? What's the worst thing I'm going to do? Walk through the door, once you do that first step, you're already halfway through it, and that was my way of kind of preparing myself mentally. Because if not, I would have been sat on my couch, like, you know what? I haven't done anything to lose, and I haven't gained anything to really be uh, missing, but it's finding that balance. Okay. Yeah. I, I think you kind of got to have a, try and have an attitude of that it is in your control, though, because once you start feeling like it's not in your control, then you become out of control. So, like you said, you gotta have like like I got like practices, I get up and I have my routine stuff that I know feeds into like positive mental health. And I think you've got to stay away from the things that you know also are gonna really are gonna affect your mental health and not try and you know draw from like substances and like eat good, live good and then just hope for the best. Because even you can do all those things and it can still go south, but you just gotta do all that you can to keep yourself in a good place. Okay, because that is the oh, sorry, yeah. can I just say there's several points coming up here. One, you, you're in a position where you kind of know about your mental health. <coughs> Half the time, people who are in mental health don't actually know they're there. Yeah. And I think we kind of have to take on point that sometimes people actually don't know they're in a bad place until they're in that bad, bad place. It's interesting for us to say, you know, this, this you can do, this, that you can do, because we are in a mental health situation, we understand our situation. But at times, for example, there may be a partner died around you, you may go into grief. You may not even recognize that until you're actually in it. So sometimes it's very easy for us to say, you know, you can do this and do that. But sometimes it doesn't always work though. I'm just saying from experience that I've seen, it, it's, it's a very complex situation. And I don't think any of us can kind of say, this is one way of doing it. This is another way of doing it. So it's very complex. So it's, 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 it's,